Hey, what's up you guys? It's Travis and welcome to Lifestyle Mondays where every Monday I try to make your life just a little bit better. Today I'm going to be making your life better by helping you trim your junk. You guys asked for it in last week's poll, an overwhelming majority of you guys said that you wanted me to teach you how to trim your pubes. Apparently that's a big deal for you guys. That's okay, I understand. I'm here to help. Now normally I would have Travis in the bathroom or another room helping us through this process with a hands-on tutorial. However, because this is YouTube and not Xtube and I'm not trying to get my channel banned today, Travis in the other room will not be helping us with his hands-on tutorial. Instead, Dr. Travis will be helping us through the entire process. But before I get to that, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video who's making this video possible, the Dollar Shave Club. They are a subscription service for men out there who need to shave your beard and don't want to buy razors very often because you're as lazy as I am. The reason I love this service so much is because it gives you high quality razors for a very affordable price. I never buy razors at the store because it costs me like $30 for something that I feel like I can wing for as long as possible until I'm getting ingrown hairs all along my neckline. Fortunately, this keeps you on top of your gentleman's game because you get these four new cartridges every single month and they're very high quality razors. I believe this one right here has five blades. If you order today in the description section below you can get your very own handle, some shave butter, and four razor cartridges for five dollars. That's your first month. The next month after that you can get more cartridges for as little as three dollars. So please be sure to check out the Dollar Shave Club in the description section below because if not for yourself it makes for a great gift. And now that we've given a proper thank you to the sponsor of this video, let's get to trimming your junk. Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Travis and I'm here to help you trim your junk. When you look in the mirror, this is probably what you see. Actually, this is probably what you see. As you can clearly tell, we're looking at the penis, testicular, and pubic area of the man's body. This is going to be a very serious video because I feel like there's not a lot of options out there for tutorials on exactly how to trim your junk. The very first and only thing that you will need as a man to trim your junk, if I can find it, a good pair of trimmers. These trimmers right here have 20 different settings, which is why I'm going to be using them today, because it allows us the flexibility to go to whatever length we want for the pubic area. You're going to start off with the inner thigh region of your body. As you can clearly tell on the left side of this diagram, I've put exactly what length your hair should be, depending on which level the razor is set at. We're going to start off with the inner thigh. The inner thigh is what frames your crotchal area. So first of all, move your testicles out of the way. Move them to the left, move them to the right, shake them up and down, move it side to side. But seriously, move your testicles and your magic stick out of your way so that you can use the trimmer on your inner thighs. Once you use the trimmer on your inner thighs, you're gonna start off at a level one. You want your hair to be as short as possible around that area so it really frames your pubiscus area. Once you're done with this area, you're gonna have some hair down your legs. You want a gradual increase to the length that your hair normally is on your legs. So therefore, you wanna move on to a two to really kind of fade that up. Once you have it at about a two length, the first couple inches after your inner thighs and groin area, you're going to switch to a four, and then you can switch up to a six even after that. So you really have a gradual increase to the length of hair that your legs normally are. Once the legs and groin area is finished, now we move on to the main event. Now, of course, I'm going to say right now, there are many ways to trim your pubes depending on what your preference is. This is the Travis way. This is my method that I use and actually used before this video to make sure that I knew exactly what I was talking about. So. Feel free to tailor this exactly to however you'd like. So for the pubic bush area, for myself, I personally go with the number five. The number five keeps it long enough that I still feel like a man, but it keeps it short enough that my partner is happy, and also it just keeps it more hygienic, and also makes it look clean and like you meant to do it. Although this is probably the most important and obvious part of the trimming process, it's also one of the easiest parts. So set your trimmer at a five, Turn that bad boy on, and then trim that entire area until it's all the same length. Avoid the testicular area because you do not want this on your testicles. This thing will cut it up. I have tried it before. You do not want to do that. For the shaving the testicles, we'll get to that in just a second. For the happy trail area, this one is a little bit more complex. Now there's not a single person that I know in this world that does not like a happy trail. So for this, I stick to an 8.5 for the length of the happy trail. Normally I like my happy trail a little bit longer, but you don't want too drastic of a difference of the hair on your happy trail to your bush. So therefore you want an 8.5, which trust me, it may seem like a lot, but once you do it, it has a very gradual decrease to the length of hair that you now have on your bush. As far as this area out here, I also grow hair along my abdomen. It's usually shorter than my happy trail, but we just want to keep that in check as well. So I stick to using a number five on the outside of my stomach area. So it really blends in smoothly to the pubiscus region. So you can be the groomed, gentlemanly gentleman that you were born to be. 
The final step, of course, is to work on the testicular area. The testicular area is something that you don't want to use these trimmers for. Instead, I highly recommend using a razor, preferably from the Dollar Shave Club, to shave your testicles. To shave your testicles in the shower, make sure they have soap on them or shaving cream because you don't want to do this dry. And pull them tight and then shave gently. It's really hard to explain exactly how you need to shave your testicles, but I feel like it's kind of an instinctive thing. If you have any questions or want me to show an exact how-to tutorial on how to shave your testicles, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to do one of those in the near future. So once your testicles have been... <laughs> So once the testicles have been shaven to perfection, you will then move on to the gooch and batuscus area. This is behind the penis and the testicles. Now for that, I've actually done a separate video about that called how to remove butt hair. That covers the butt area and the taint. So if you want to check that out, you can see it in the description section below. But otherwise, that concludes the tutorial on how to trim your junk the Travis way. So thank you so much for watching, and now back to Travis on the bed to wrap this thing up. Alright you guys, I hope that this was a very educational tutorial for you for trimming your junk. I look forward to the pictures to prove exactly how you've done it. Just kidding, don't send those to me, I don't feel like going to jail right now. Also, a big thank you to the Dollar Shave Club for making this video possible. If you guys want to check out the Dollar Shave Club for yourself, you can do so at the links in the description section below. Remember that the first month is only $5 and you can cancel at any time, so I definitely think it's worth checking out. And I guess that's all I have for right now. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.